Yeah, Hezbollah is extremely important in anything regarding Israel-Palestine. Uh, again, they see themselves as one of the main forces for um, resistance towards Israel on behalf of the Palestinian cause. And even though we hear a lot about other groups in the region, Hamas included, Hezbollah is probably the largest uh, armed militant group in the region. Um, their own leader estimates their numbers around 100,000. I think others put that a bit less, closer to 50,000. But either way, very strong in numbers and very well trained and very well funded. Yeah, so Hezbollah and Hamas are both uh, armed resistance groups. Uh, they both receive backing from Iran, and they do uh, talk to each other and coordinate to some degree. Over these last few weeks, there have been, um, you know, known meetings between um, Iran, Hezbollah, and Hamas officials and whatnot. But I would say the two usually operate somewhat separately. Hamas is based in the Palestinian territories, and particularly in Gaza. Um, they usually focus their operations on um, Israel-Palestine territory itself, rather than Hezbollah, which focuses more on what's going on in Lebanon and Israeli incursions there. Two things that he said stood out, I think. One is that he said what happened on October 7th was a Palestinian operation and was directed by Hamas. So I think this was a very clear message from Hezbollah as well as Iran to say that this was not directly coordinated by them, which is uh, something they have been saying from the beginning, and Israeli and the U.S. intelligence have mostly backed that up. And secondly, has uh, Nasrallah said, this is a Palestinian fight uh, first and foremost. And so, um, again, I think he's keeping all options open. Iran is probably keeping all options open. But that seems to suggest that um, they, as well as other actors in the region, are looking for this to stay focused in Gaza, where it is, are not looking to blow this up further unnecessarily than it already is in terms of um, kind of cross-border skirmishes. In real terms, Iran and Hezbollah know that if they get involved, Israel and perhaps the U.S. will push back extremely strongly against them as a group, as well as against Lebanon as a country, and many in, in Lebanon do not want that to happen. So in real terms, they are making those calculations. At the same time, Hezbollah prides itself on being the strongest resistance force in the region, the main body that stands up to Israel, and they don't want to look like they're sitting this one out either. They want to make sure that they maintain that sort of clout, that kind of image, so they have to make it look like they are somewhat in the game and are also engaging in this. For Nasrallah's speech, it was happening at the same time as Secretary of State um, Blinken's speech in Israel at the same time. So I think we see two um, actors who are very um, uh, have a lot of leverage in this conflict and can have a lot of effect on it. Both, I think, are signaling that they do not want this to escalate into a wider regional war. Mm -hmm.